Philippe, thank you so much indeed for your time. Um, how draconian? Is it possible to give a measurement about how draconian this new law is and how much is going to change in terms of what it will allow the police to do that they may not have been allowed to do before? Good, uh, good evening. Yeah, thank you. In fact, you have two, two important points to, 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 to say on this law. Uh, first of all, uh, we need as a lawyer, if you have some uh, officer police violence on protesters, you need some proofs. And in fact, there is a problem with the law with the Article 24, which is not so clear because uh, they, they, you, you have different kind of uh, conditions to, uh, to, to, to get these videos, proofs. Uh, to save your, your your client and this is not very clear and i think this is the major uh, difficult point on this law on another level you have also to protect the police officer which are uh, uh, offended or uh, or they they have they they receive some violence from some place in france and in fact a lot of the people they use the name on the image of the police officer to put a pressure on them and to who can when they can uh, hurt them because they are known. So it's two things uh, um, mixing together, and uh, um, there is uh, a lot to say on the both sides. Philippe, I understand that you uh, have represented some uh, yellow vest protesters who have been victims of police violence when they've been on the streets. Would you be able yes. to uh, represent them the way you want to with the restrictions that this law places on, for example, taking photographs of a police officer? But also, if someone were to take a picture illegally, if a police officer performing some sort of violent act, if you were to present that in court, would the law mean that actually it would be not permissible to present that evidence? In fact, you can use proofs. You can use video proofs. But as I told you at the beginning of uh, my explanation, it's this Article 24, which is not very well written and can be confusing for the defense of someone who will be a victim of this uh, um, police, uh, uh, the, the police officer violence. Um, and this is not clear. And I don't know what I can tell you right now because I didn't use uh, already uh, this law to defend someone who is victim of uh, possible violence from the uh, police officer. Has anybody tried to take this to court to argue that, in fact, it may not be legal, whether they're uh, arguing about freedom of information or being able to at least keep a record of what the authorities are doing? Has there been any case brought about this law? No, not yet, but in fact, you can use the QPC in France, which uh, is coming from... Uh, a reform of 200, uh, 2008, who can give the, to the, the people who are, who are in the case to, to ask to the Conseil Constitutionnel if the, the law is uh, legal regarding the French Constitution. And so, in fact, if there is some matter of proofs with the, uh, this article, uh, I suppose to, to, to say the, court, the Conseil Constitutionnel to ask if this article is legal regarding the French constitution. I think this is one way to, to answer your question. Philippe, thank you so much for your time. Philippe de Vol in Paris.